when the narcissist goes dark mode pay attention guys okay this video will help you navigate life with a narcissist or it will help you to make the proper decisions about yourself about our uh, about your own life the narcissist has sold their soul so many years ago okay what you have in front of you is a bot it is just like the avatar there is spirits or particular spirits or spirit attached to that person they have allowed external influence into their lives that is why you see they have become very destructive nothing is going on for them everything they touch it will fail everything they say it is a spell everything they do doesn't work even at the end they are programmed to self-destruct at the end of this pattern what the so-called narcissism they are going to self-destruct so that is why you see even the people that are around them they also get destroyed because the narcissist also destroys everything along their way now when you understand this truth you will never see the narcissist the same ever again in your life you will start to understand what you need to do about your life now let's talk about this knock mode have you guys been with a narcissist and you went to bed pretty happy everybody was okay you know they have uh, you know you had the dinners you gave the children their food and whatever you watch some few series on tv and then you guys went to bed and then in the morning out of the blue you are probably still sleeping and then you hear like some banging around the house they are downstairs banging stuff they are throwing things all over the house they are screaming sometimes they are you know they are making it very uncomfortable for you to sleep even sometimes when you go to sleep they are moving around the house banging things so they are making it impossible for you to sleep or let's say for example sometimes you have said something that you know it is the truth now when you're dealing with these demons they don't know anything to do with the truth they are not interested in your truth anything you say that is the truth is going to cause a narcissistic injury because now you're shattering down their false self because that's all that they are living in their false self and they are going to rage okay they rage at you they will uh, sometimes gaslight you maybe you're asking them about something and they know it is the truth they may start gaslighting you now they may you may start questioning your sanity you may start believing or thinking that you are the crazy one or there's something wrong with you now that is very dangerous that thing is very dangerous for the human psyche it is very dangerous for your brain a person that will twist your brain to that extent where you will forget yourself that person is a very dangerous person it is not a person worth staying around with you can you can always you have done that before because you didn't know this now you are seeing these people that you consider to be normal human beings and sometimes it's even very disturbing if they are very close family members you're dealing with the father then you have this mother and there's nothing you can say it's getting through their head you know they are only listening when it is something concerning them but when it is something that concerning you you have got your own needs they're not listening they're not there and sometimes you have a relationship let's say when you have like this partner you go you you know um you are there you know in your in your in your home doing the normal things you have made some dinner everything has everybody has eaten things are okay maybe you came back from the shopping and then out of the blue this particular narcissist starts something they are going to say something to you that is going to trigger you so people call that pushing buttons they are going to push one of your buttons and you can end up angry or frustrated 
and they're going to cause you to react. And the only thing they're waiting for is your reaction. They know that they know that whatever they are saying is not valid, is is nonsense, is BS. But they still want to get some reaction out of you so that you can start to react. And then now you're angry. Now you're asking all these questions. Now you moving around the house, you questioning them and things like that. And then they are behind there watching you, and you see them sometimes they are making movies. They are, they are, they are, what do they call it? They are, they are filming you while you while you you know you they are recording the reactions. Sometimes they are taking pictures. Maybe they make you angry and you're like you're not gonna talk to them. So you know, you go off and you spend some time, you're like, I'm not gonna talk with these people. You go and take a nap. Only for you to realize that later on, a couple of days later. They came and recorded you when you was napping. They took a video of you when you was napping, or they they took they took a picture of you in that particular moment when you was napping. You're dealing with demons. So, knock mode is also demon mode. These entities that have taken over the narcissist, the narcissist is simply a zombie. For these zombies to operate. They need to feed off of someone's energy. So, when you are the person, the provider of that energy, they are going to cling on to you for as long as it takes because they need that energy. Constant, daily supply of energy for them to thrive. That is how they survive. So, it doesn't necessarily mean that when you are with these zombies, it is always going to be chaotic all the time. There may be some few hours in the day when they are okay. You see them eating food and they are talking with you and whatever. And then in an instant they will flip and they are going to go into knock mode. That's what they call the demon mode. Now that means that in that particular time they want to feed. So they are hungry. Those demons need to feed. Because I've told you this is an energy transaction. So this is people who have attached themselves to you. Individuals who have attached themselves to you. So that they can now start siphoning their energy because they need that energy to survive. When they go demon mode, you are supposed to understand this that it is feeding time. When a narcissist goes knock mode, they go into demon mode. And it is in that particular moment or second that they need to feed. So they need a reaction because it is through your reaction, emotional reaction especially, that now they are feeding off of your energy. This is a spiritual thing going on. So narcissism is a spiritual disease. Many people will not tell you this. It's a spiritual disease. It's a spiritual illness. Some people want to label it as an NPD, whatever, personality disorder, but this is a spiritual illness. It is something with energy. It is all about energy. They need your energy. They need your fuel. You are feeding into these zombies. These are zombies. These are entities that have corrupted somebody's soul. They have made people lose their souls. They have taken over their bodies. And now they are continuing this process to somebody else, siphoning people's energy around the world. So, in that particular moment, there's even another one, another one, very, very common scenario that you might find. You might see those guys, they they are going to have a fight with you. So let's say you guys have a very, very intensive fight. You guys are going to an argument, very intensive one, and they are going to be siphoning your energy because you see. During the reactions, when you guys are when you guys are into an argument, you are arguing and you are fighting with them, and you are, so you are pumping energy into these zombies. In that particular minute or minutes, you are pumping a lot of energy into these zombies. They know that they are siphoning your energy in that particular time. So that's that's the only thing that you didn't know all this entire time that you was dealing with them. So in that particular time, they are taking your energy. Is why sometimes you finish an argument with them. And you feel like there is some piece of you that has been taken away from you and you don't understand what it is. There's a part of you that has been stolen from you that you don't understand. You cannot even put a finger to it. You don't know what it is. And then what happens after those minutes? Maybe two or three. But that uh, process may have taken like two or three minutes. And you're going to see now this person walking in and they're going to start smiling at you. You know, oh, do you need something to eat? Or, you know, can we go to the shops? They have really pissed you off to that extent that you don't even want to see them. You don't even want to touch them. And it is even going to be disturbing sometimes if it's your partners. And after a very long 
very serious engagement. Now, all of a sudden, they need sex from you. They want to sleep with you. You have already lost your mood. They have destroyed your mood. You don't even want to touch them. You cannot even kiss them. And now they want sex from you. So that is how you know that you're dealing with this whole, this whole thing of narcissism, ladies and gentlemen, don't get it twisted. The entire thing they're telling you about narcissism, this matrix is upside down. They never told you what the truth is. The truth is you are dealing with demonic entities. They need your energy. Okay? They need your energy. It is this energy that is making them, helping them to survive. That is how they thrive off of your energy. But this whole thing of, of disorder, whatever, so it has been like twisted so that you cannot actually understand this whole thing, spiritual thing of energy transaction between you and them so that you cannot understand. So this is like another way to put you back deeper into sleep. So, again, knock mode is demon mode. It is in that particular moment that they have been activated to feed. So it's why sometimes you see you may go into a rage. They may go into a rage, for example, when you've when you have been having something with them and they go into a rage. It is why sometimes you guys experience the black eyes. All of a sudden, their eyes are going to turn black and you don't even know what you're dealing with, the entity that you're, entity that you're dealing with. In those particular sl uh, split seconds, God is showing you the entities that is behind that person. That is why their eyes are turning black instantly. Most of the times, many people have not seen it. Some people have not seen these moments because the manifestations could have been different, but the black eyes is also one of them. So in that particular minute or minutes or a couple of seconds, they need energy. That is why they are triggering you and pushing some buttons so that you can, so that you can be triggered to fight with them and you can you know, start exchanging energy from them. Because that is how they steal. They are energy vampires. So it's why you hear people talking about energy vampires. So these are energy vampires, and the reason why they call them energy vampires is because they survive off of other people's energy, okay? They are drawing energy from people, and that is how they thrive. Their existence thrives off of people's energy. They are very low-dimensional entities that cannot generate their own energy. So they need other vessels to help them to get energy. So that's what they call Nak mode, is demon mode. So the only thing you can do is, uh, the lesser you react is the better for you. So you need to do it in a way that is safer for you, okay? Don't start firing back and trying to make the whole situation go out of hand because at the end of the day, you know, you, you could still get hurt if you're dealing with these very, very dangerous ones. You could also get hurt. So the best way to do for you is not to react. Do not give them a reaction because when you do not give them a reaction, that means that you still closed your doors off to your emotional energy. So they cannot get your energy from you. Or sometimes if it's necessary, then it's better for you to walk away. Okay, don't give them any time or second or whatever minute. Just start walking away from them. And do not answer back, don't react back. So less, less of the reaction, depending on the situation. There will be different scenarios in every case. But the easiest way to protect yourself is actually to walk away from them. And don't give them any reaction. And you're going to be surprised. The next time you see them, you're going to see a completely different person. In some cases, they might even have forgotten the things they were saying at that time. You may tell them that, why did you tell me this? Or why did you do that? And sometimes you hear things like, they didn't do this. Maybe you didn't hear right or whatever. They don't know what they said or whatever. Sometimes they may try to apologize. But you know that it's a fake apology. So that is because in that time, they were stopped into demon mode. And there is some things they were lashing out or things they were saying that they cannot even remember themselves. Okay? So, narcissistic abuse is disturbing. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you start to go behind the veil and you start digging very deeper into who a narcissist really is, you will be completely baffled by the truth of who a narcissist is. But still, awareness is power, knowledge is power, protect yourself. They'll be everywhere knocking around. Look around you and know what to do when these moments happen, okay? So let us know what you think about the video, guys, in the comment section below. You know I do love and appreciate your support. Please book a session if you want to. You may donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I will catch you guys in my next one. There's almost signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.